Hello, good evening. <laughs> hello, hello. Good Hi, Marlene. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And you? Very good. A little bit tired because I had a hard day. I went to a very far place. <laughs> yeah, but I'm okay. Thanks, Marlene. Okay. Let's see, Jeanette. Hi, Jeanette. Hello. Hello, Selma. Hi, Maria. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, ladies? Hi. Let me see who else. Mm. Sarita, hello. Jose, hi. Edgar. Roberto, hello. hello. Hello, Maria Santos. Good evening. Okay. Nice. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to start with our session for today's class. Um, let me see. I'm going to start sharing. This is our platform, right, for Intermediate 3. Okay. Okay, previously, uh, we were talking about uh, real conditional sentences with if classes, right? Um, we were uh, like having a discussion. So what would you do if you found $750,000, right? Um, and we're going to be checking that a little bit more. We're going to be uh, talking about some questions, some uh, real situations or maybe some situations that yeah may happen, right? Or not. <laughs> Let's see. Look at this. Uh, a real conditional sentences, what do they do? They describe imaginary situations and consequences in the past, right? So what would you do if you found $750,000? So that was the question. So this is our imaginary situation with a simple past form, right? If I found $750,000, so what could be, which uh, could be our imaginary consequence with uh, you can use models uh, like would, might, or could, right? Uh, in order to show that a uh, probability, right? So um, I wouldn't return it so fast. So that was one of the answers that we discussed. I might go to Las Vegas. I could double it in a casino, okay? I would uh, go straight to the police or I go straight to the police. Yeah. And we were discussing about this in our previous class. So remember, what do we need for um, in order to create these um, conditions? So we need to okay, okay. So we need to um add a past tense uh, sentence with the uh, imaginary situation, and the consequence. You can use a uh, would. You can also use might or could to talk about the consequence. So what will happen, right? If you uh, found this a uh, quantity of money, let's see. So here we have some ideas. Look at this. Uh, Marlene, can you see this, by the way? Let me know. Can you see the book? Yeah. Yes. Okay, perfect. Look at this. Um, we're going to match the classes in column A with information from column B. So uh, more than one answer may be possible. Then we're going to compare that, right? Let's see. Uh, Marlene, can you help us with the first one? And then we're okay. going to try to look for a correct answer. Yep. If I found a burglar in my home, 
Okay, so guys, uh, you can type your answers or you can tell us. Open your microphone. So what will you do? What is the meaning of burglar? Uh, a thief. So someone like this guy, like trying to steal some things from your house. If you found a burglar into your house, so what will you do? Someone trying to steal some objects, some uh, things from you, from your house. So that's a burglar. Like a ladron? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So if I found a burglar in my house, so which would be one of the answers, guys? I break a window to get in. Okay. I'd prob probably call the police. Okay, I'll probably call the police. Yeah, that's a good one, you know. D, okay. Let's see. How about number two? Um, continue, Marlene, number two. If I saw someone shoplift shoplifting. Mm, okay. So what is shoplifting, guys? Ideas? Robert, any idea? What is shoplifting? Mm, have you seen some cases from, let's say, when you maybe you have heard about some situations in the markets or supermarkets or malls where people go and uh, where, 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 where some people go and try to steal some things, some items, let's say. So that's shoplifting. So you go, uh, well, not not me, not you, right? But some people. <laughs> okay, so if I saw someone shoplifting, what would you do? So which could be a consequence? Shoplifting means uh, like stealing. A, yeah. Like a burglar too, right? Did yeah. You... Mm -hmm. Almost the then same. you go to a shop. Uh -huh. So what would you do? So that means urto, urto, so it's a store yeah, in a shop. If I saw someone shoplifting, so which could be one a possible consequence or a idea? So what would you do? I might option F. Number two, you have to select one a possible answer from column B. If I might tell a sales clerk. Okay, so I might tell a sales clerk. Okay, good. Let's see, uh, Marlene, please continue. Number three. If I found $75,000 on the street. Okay. So I imagine I living it. that dream. I... <laughs> The, the uh, letter C. Letter C. Okay. Yeah, I remember <laughs> some of your answers. So uh, I C. call, I might not tell anybody. <laughs> Solo me. Just me and, and, and Just who else? Me and <laughs> okay. Maybe Marlene. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Marlene, continue with number five, four. Yeah, four. If the teacher gave me an A on a test by mistake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so that was too creative. Okay, so if the teacher gave me an A on a test by mistake. Guys? <laughs> I probably called the police now, right? Mm. So what do you think? Which could be um one answer for that for that situation? Mm -hmm. So remember that um more than one answer may be possible. So you can repeat one if you want to. 
I think that letter C. <laughs> yeah, C again. Yeah, indeed. Okay, so how about the next one? Continue, Marlene. If I locked myself out of my house. Okay, so what's going to happen? So if you lock yourself out of your house. I run to my neighbors for help. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that will be possible. Okay. Maybe. Uh. Okay. Let me see. Uh, neighbors. Okay. G. And the last one, Marlene. Go ahead, please. If I won a million dollars in the lottery, I might invite uh my students to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so guys, so Neftali, what do you think about? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Neftali, what do you think, Neftali? E. I guess I might spend it. Yeah, I guess I might spend it. Yeah, indeed. I think so too. Or um, so which would be any other possibility? Is there any other, for example? I could think of ways to invest it. Could be, okay. And uh, if I lock myself out of my house, we have another possibility. Oh well, I think yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I could mm -hmm. get a set of kids from my friend. From your friend? Mm. Maybe. If, <laughs> maybe if, well, if you have given her mm -hmm. him that right. your kiss. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be. Or I break a window to get in. <laughs> so have you done that before? No? Or something similar? Yes. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> So you're trying to steal something from your own house. Okay. <laughs> okay, thanks guys. Let's see. Um so now look at this. So we have some ideas. Um we have some more ideas to think about. For example, what do you think you would do or might do in these situations? You found a valuable piece of jewelry in a park. So what will you do? Could you give me some ideas? If you find uh, if you found a, a valuable piece of jewelry in a park. Think about some ideas. I would, for example, So what will you do? Jenny, Robert, you found a valuable piece of jewelry in a park. Uh, for example, I would um, maybe ask okay, the people around, <laughs> maybe, uh -huh. or oh, maybe I don't, don't, don't tell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe um I wouldn't, right? So I wouldn't tell anyone. Yeah. Okay. Could be. Okay. Um Robert, what would you do? Um I will I don't know, I will put it in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, well, um, oh, yeah. I would. Yeah, I would ask for somebody. I look around. Maybe somebody missed that. Is the owner? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Next question. Um. Um. 
You were on vacation overseas and lost all your money and credit cards. Mm, so terrible. So what is something that you would do or that you could do? For example, I could maybe call my, I don't know, my sister for help. Okay. Or maybe I could call the bank so oh, okay. can block my credit card. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, I could call the bank and I just block. Block. Oh, okay. And block your account. Yeah. Your credit card account. Okay, so that would be a nice uh, possibility, a nice option. Yeah. Let's see, we have another. Um... Okay, Neftali, what will you do? So you were on vacation overseas and lost all your money and credit cards. I will not. Uh, be, uh, I I called to my to my brother to to send me some dollars to be. Okay. And, and then and then return and uh, and then I could call the bank and for block my my credit card. Yeah, yeah, and then I return to my home. <laughs> okay, so no yeah. more vacation overseas. No yeah, more, no more vacation. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so that was not a good experience at the end. Yeah, and it can be uh, even more expensive, right? <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, you saw two people fighting in the street. So you saw two people fighting in the street. Take my cell phone and start. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I start to I como se dice that, 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 recording? Recording <laughs> every people right now. <laughs> okay, so I might use my cell phone to record the um, the fight. Okay. <laughs> and I blood it to and what else? Recording the fight and say fight, 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 fight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I'm blooded to maybe Facebook, I don't know. Social media. Yeah, any kind of social media, like maybe Facebook. Okay. No, no sé. Déjame ver. Déjame checar aquí los micrófonos. Mm. Ya estuvo, ya no ¿Se sigue bien? ¿Se sigue? No, ya no. Ya no. Ok. Maybe it was a ghost. <laughs> ok. Excuse me. Hi. Hello. <laughs> ok. Let's see. Um... Okay, so I might use my cell phone to record the fight and a lot to Facebook. Okay, yeah. Yeah, most of people do that. So what could be another possibility, guys? Okay, so let's continue to our next point, which is someone stole your clothes while you were swimming at the beach. What do you think? Ah, okay, no, that was not the one. Uh, you discover your friend has a, a drinking problem. So imagine Marlene and Jenny having a, a problem like this, or Jenny, imagine Marlene having a problem like this, or Roberto, or anybody. <laughs> Okay, so what will you do? Let me see. Who else is here? Uh, Giselle, tell us, Giselle, what will you do? Giselle, Sarita, what will you do? Giselle? Hi, hi, Giselle, hello. Mm 
Mm, let me see. Okay. Uh, Sarita. Hello, Sarita. Selma. Jenny. Ladies, tell me, what will you do? So imagine that a friend of you or of yours, they have a problem um, with a drink, well, a drinking problem. So you I will, I will call the family to help. Okay, so you will call for help. Okay. Or, or call, I call uh, llevarlo. Mm, take him or her to um take him to the hospital to to maybe to desintoxicarlo. Mm, yeah. I'm gonna check that to recover, maybe to yeah. Okay. And uh do you think a is it a good idea if you uh tell your their parents or someone they know? like a brother, sister, mother, or their relatives. So do you think, is it a good idea? What yes, is it? it's a good idea. Mm. But what if this person gets angry? Because <laughs> he or she doesn't expect that he's having like trouble with uh, drinking. Robert, what will you do in this situation? Let's listen to the voice of the experience. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, I'm just kidding. Robert. I think I could I could give you uh, an advice. An advice. Or, mm -hmm. or something like this or or maybe I could be give you another beer. <laughs> So you're gonna help him? Okay, I'm gonna yeah, pay the next six. Don't, don't worry, buddy. I I'm gonna help you. You know, let's yeah. drink a couple of beers too. <laughs> okay, I need help too. Okay, so yeah. we have two problems now. <laughs> two problems now. <laughs> yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah, that, that was funny. Good. Um. Okay. So um, look at the next one. Someone stole your clothes while you were swimming at the beach, guys. I think I might, I don't know. <laughs> um, I might use some cocos, <laughs> some coconuts. <laughs> I don't know, tell me, give me some ideas. So um, you gotta be creative with this. Marlene, what will you do? <laughs> Maybe, no, I will. Um... Imagine you don't have a cell phone there. You don't have... Uh... Maybe no, I will tell to someone mm. who can help me. Maybe, yeah. Um, okay. And you, Jenny? I don't know, teacher. I, I think um tell tell with my friends about the the problem mm -hmm. so you could talk with your friends about that problem okay so you could talk um let me see karen karen elizabeth karen karen villanueva hello ladies hello karen tell us um okay so the same situation um someone stole your clothes while you were swimming at the beach so what will you do i i think help him. <laughs> but imagine if you are the one in that situation mind that the, this person is you Someone stole your clothes while you were swimming at the beach. Um, I think. Uh -huh. I think I, I, I will cry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I will cry and ask Cipitio and how, how do you say it? these uh, Cipitio's grand grand 
Rampa. <ríe> ok. Maybe call abuelito Tlaloc. <ríe> I don't know. So what would you do? I could use some, um, okay, lips maybe. <ríe> no. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> You're gonna paint. Uh -huh. Maybe uh, I I could paint. Okay, paint. I could paint. I could paint. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And the last one. A friend borrowed money from you and didn't return it. What do you think? A friend borrowed money from you and didn't return it. I wouldn't talk with him. <laughs> Never. Nunca más. Oh, okay. So you will... Hmm. Okay. Never, never. What else? Let me see. Uh, Robert? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I try to... I could... to talk with him... And I try to explain he has to give me the, the money back or something like this. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. I, 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 could, I could try to talk with him or with her about yeah. the situation. And he has to bring me bring me back the money again. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, Jenny, how about you, Jenny? Um, I let's go to okay, yeah, maybe I um... try, I could try with my friend because <laughs> <laughs> because don't return my money, <laughs> okay. Because of uh, what he or she has done, right? Okay, let's see. Uh, Michelle, what how about you, Michelle? What do you think, Michelle? Um, Neftali. So, a friend borrowed money from you and didn't return it. The passenger, <laughs> okay. For me, it depends. If five dollars spend on twenty dollars, mm. it's no problem. It's no problem. But if one hundred dollars, it will be will be a problem. And and ask him or her uh, what happened. Uh -huh. If if <laughs> if will return that money. If if he if if he or her. If well, she, she returns the huh? money, huh? if they don't return all money, uh, it could be for, como dice, así por poquito, a little. Uh, for um, through small quantities, maybe uh, you can return for, mm -hmm, in different return methods money. of um, payment, let's say, like. Uh, return by little, little by little. Mm, could be, yeah. Little by little. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's a nice uh, idea, you know. Okay, so have you done this? <laughs> have you done this before? Yes, no? Have you had any problem like this with a friend or someone you know? No? No, teacher. No, not yet. Okay, don't do it then. <laughs> and you know that's not good, right? So since you have your friends, and so I think that that wouldn't be a nice experience. Okay, so let's see. Um, so now I need you to think. Uh, we're gonna be working in the breakout rooms, and I need you to think about some possible uh, situations. So the question will be: What will you do if? Um, and then you have to try to answer. So you can discuss the ones that we have over here. But besides that, uh, try to create two examples. Okay, so what will you do if, 
for example, um, ideas. So what will you do if? Okay. Yeah, uh, okay, so if you want a new car, for example. Oh, what will you do if you start it? Okay, if you started a, a business. So what will you do if Okay, so what will you do if someone yell at you? So think about some possible situations and then you start discussing. So how will, how are we going to answer using I'm not sure, I think I'd, or I might. So that depends, right? So try to create at least uh, some questions uh, using this conditional. So what will you do if you want a new car, if you started a business uh, with a friend, for example, if someone yell at you. So think about some possible situations. Uh, what will you do if your boss asks you for uh, something, right? So you can think about so that. Have a question. Mm, yeah, Carlita. What, Karen Bernal, oh, Karen. what does, what does mean uh, jelly, jelly, oh, jelly? Scream. Like scream, shouting at someone, gritarle a alguien, someone yell at you. Someone yell at you? If someone yelled at you, yeah. Si alguien le grita, so what will you do? Uh, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. But think about some pos some other possible situations. These are just some examples. Mm, try creating some more, okay? Pueden agregar otros ejemplos. So these are just examples, okay? So think about the possible situation, like the ones that we have discussed about above, and then you start discussing using this structure, like in A, B, and C, okay? I'm not sure, I think I'd, or I might, any of that. Okay, you ready? So can you take a screenshot with that? Okay. Ready? So I'm going to be sending you the picture if you don't have it, okay? And you can share with your classmates the, the screen so you can create your examples. Ready? Any question? Nope. Okay. So please start joining the breakup rooms.
¿Me escucha? Sí. Ok. La respuesta, la respuesta sería... Ajá. Por ejemplo, what will, you, what will you do if you want a new car? Yo de respuesta tengo... I'm not sure. I have no look in traffic. Yo creo que se dice... Ok. In my case, I might go to driver classes. <laughs> And another one. What would you do if you started a business? Hello guys, how are you doing? Questions? Not too true. Okay. okay. So here we have Jose. Um, you can start discussing. Here is Marlene. Okay. Jose. What would you do if you if someone yelled at you? Jose. Okay, please. What would you do if someone yelled at you? I, I say take it easy. <laughs> In my case, I give him a blow. A blow? Sí, le doy un golpe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Take care. And... No use the violence. Come on. No use the violence. Take care. Just kidding. Just kidding. No, I maybe I might uh, talk to him and ask about what did he do that. And what will you do if you want a new car? Oh, I'm very happy. <laughs> I try everything, like every country, every Salvador. I could, I could go San Miguel, La Unión, maybe Guatemala, Mexico, <laughs> 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 my house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And what would you do if you started a business? This my case, I always. For me, I, I would 
I would start a business like a mechanic. Ah, you told me the last the last day uh, you are mechanic, right? Yes. That, that's incredible. It's no, a that, good that, option. <laughs> oh, wow. So. Uh, so Sara? Uh, in my case, I think I would ask to my family to do like a family business, uh, like um, selling um, groceries, for example. Online sales, sales online. And... What would you do if someone jet jelled at you? Uh, in, in my case, I try to to I don't know to to talk with him, I, and I start to to tell him, "Hey, relax, calm down, and don't yell at me because I don't yell at you." So, uh, keep uh try to to relax but if he start to if he's if he, he is continuing to yell at me i don't know maybe i i turn around and I get out of here I, because i don't want to get in trouble with nobody so yeah that's 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 it that's all In my case, maybe I would to tell with with the team on her and say, "Don't tell me, please, because I don't like." It. So I know, ya no vamos. Okay, so let's continue, guys. Uh, welcome back. So right now we're gonna have lesson and practice part uh, between Tanya and Ruth. Is your house guest still staying with you? No, after three weeks, she finally left. Thank goodness. <laughs> so how did you get rid of her? Well, I lied and told her my parents were coming for a visit and I needed the room. I probably shouldn't have lied. Now I feel bad. What would you have done? Oh, I would have told her to leave after a week. By the way, my father-in-law is coming to visit us next week. Can I move in with you for a few days? No way. Okay, so she's like getting some excuses, right? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, volunteers, Tanya and Ruth. Uh, what is a house guest? What do you think? What is it? What is a house guest? Have you have uh, any house guests before in your house? Yes, no? Jose, Jenny, no? Okay, good, let's see. Volunteers, so let's see. Um, Tanya and Ruth, volunteers. 
Turn on your microphone. Invitado. Invitado, yeah, invitado. Okay, Jose, uh, you start yes. with, let me see, with maybe, um, I don't know, Janet, you hear Janet? Hello, Janet Carolina Rivera? Oh, let me check. Somebody sent me a message. Um, yeah, no, Janet. Janet, okay, Janet. Hmm. Okay, Karen Elizabeth. Karen Elizabeth, you I know you're here. Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay, Karen, um, please, okay. you're going to be uh, reading a Ruth part. And Jose, you start with Tanya's. Okay. Okay. Uh, your house is, is still staying with you? No, after three weeks, she finally left. Thanks, goodness. 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 Thank goodness. Okay. So, how do you get read, read, read. or write? Just read. Read of her. Well, I live on a tow here. My parents were coming for a visit and I need the rooms. I probably show them how live. Now I feel bad. What would you have done? Oh, I would have told her to leave after. At least by the way, my father in law is coming to visit us next week. Can I move in with you for a few a few days? A few days? No way. Okay, That's let's see. Yeah, thanks. Got it. Okay, let's see. Two volunteers, uh, Jenny and um, Karen Villanueva. I don't know, Karen Villanueva here. <clears throat> Is your house, house girl still staying, staying with you? Okay, uh, Nestable, can you answer, please? Neftali, I'm sorry. Okay. Teacher, I am Karen wow. Bernal. Yo leí. O oh, vuelvo a leer. No, no, no. I was talking with oh, okay. Karen Villanueva, but uh, she left a message. Don't worry. Okay, uh, Neftali. Neftali, go ahead, Neftali. Start I'm again, sorry. Jenny. Okay. If your host is still is staying with you, no, after three weeks, she finally left. Thanks, goodness. So, how did you get to get it off here? Well, I lit it. I lit up to tell her my parents were coming for business, and I needed the room. The room. I probably shouldn't have lit. No, I said that. What would you have done? Oh, I would have told her to leave after a week by the way my father-in-law is coming to visit visit you next week can i move with, in with your father a few days no way okay thanks Look at this. Is your house guest still staying with you? No. After three weeks, she finally left. Thank goodness. So how do you get rid of her? Well, I lied and told her my parents were coming for a visit and I needed the room. I probably shouldn't have lied. Now I feel bad. What would you have done? Oh, I would have told her to leave after a week. By the way, my father-in-law is coming to visit us. us. Us to visit us to visit us the uh, next week. Us to visit us is coming to visit us next week. Uh, can I move 
in with you for a few days. No way. Okay. She's not too uh, em empathic, I guess. <laughs> okay, let me see. Next is uh, Selma. Selma and Maria Santos. Uh, Maria Santos, you hear Maria Santos? <clears throat> And Selma. Is your house cat style staying with you? Okay, uh, let me look for somebody else. Uh, Giselle? Giselle? Giselle Maria Hernandez? Mm, okay. Sarita, go ahead. No, after three weeks, she finally left. Thank goodness. So, how did you get right up here? Well, I lied and told her my told her my parents were coming for a visit and I needed a room. I probably probably shouldn't have lied. Now I feel bad. What will you do? What will you have done? Oh, I will have told her to leave after a week. Be, by the way, my father-in-law is coming to visit us next week. Can move in with you for a few days? Few days? No way. Okay. Thanks, ladies. Can I move in? Can I move in with you? Can I move in with you? Can I move in with you uh, for a few days? No way. Okay, now with me, with somebody else. Okay, Um. let me see. Wendy and Roberto. Wendy, hello, Wendy. Hello. Okay. I am Tanya. Okay, Wendy is and your Roberto. House, is your house that is still staying with you? No, after three weeks, she finally left. Thank goodness. So how did you get rid of her? Well, I lied and told her my parents were coming for a visit and I needed the room. Probably should it should be have lied. Now I feel bad. What would you have done? Oh. I would have told her to leave after after a week. By the way, my father-in-law is coming to visit us next week. Can I move in with you for a few days? No way. Okay, thanks, Robert. Thanks, Wendy. Then let me see Michelle Beatriz Diaz. Um, Marlene, is Marlene here? Marlene, hello. Still here? What happened with Marlene? Okay. Let's see. Do we have some more volunteers? No? Who's missing? Don't remember. Okay, well. Okay, Um. question. What will you do if uh, a house guest stay too long, guys? So what will you do? In my case, I think I would... Um, recommend some nice places for example in order to well to help me right because he or she might not be helping me so so that would be a good idea recommend something cheaper maybe so what will you do Okay, so I will recommend it another place. Um, Jenny, what will you do? So what will you do if a house guest stay too long? Uh, 
I will say no because I have a son. Mm. And uh, <laughs> and I saw and, and, I, and I like my privacy. Your privacy, okay. Okay, so I could ask him or her to leave in that case, to leave because I have a son, okay? Yeah. And I love my privacy, all of us, privacy. Okay, let me see, Roberto, what will you do? Uh, in my case, I will, I will talk with him and I try to found uh, with him or with her a new room or new apartment and another place and i and i i will help to find another room yep okay so that's a good option sarita how about you what do you think sarita <clears throat> mm, oh yeah sarita uh, I, uh well i don't know <laughs> it's a difficult question because i can I would I wouldn't do like I wouldn't say I wouldn't tell or ask for I don't know uh, mm -hmm. staying in another house mm, okay so you wouldn't allow anybody so um okay hello anybody Anybody to stay. Yeah, maybe. Could be. Okay, nice. And uh, let's see. Karen, we finish with your uh, idea. I call that him, but but I recommend the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I honest. <laughs> yeah, you're honest. I could recommend recommend uh them uh a hotel okay yeah nice <laughs> yeah yeah well, like other family <laughs> or, or another family or somebody else i have no space <laughs> well even though i even though sort of people is kind of hard maybe <laughs> we should be kind of polite right sometimes <laughs> but yeah I think that nobody should, uh, let's see, bother because of this situation, right? Okay, because we all need our privacy. Okay, nice. Uh, I'm going to pass attendance list, guys. Um, let me see. I'm going to mention your names. Just stay tuned and let me check where it's at. Okay. Yes. Okay.
Okay, just give me a couple of seconds. It's charging. Okay, Edgar Fernando Portillo. Edgar Fernando Portillo. Elisa Arely López Campos. Giselle María Hernández Torres. Janet Carolina Rivera. Present teacher. Thanks. Okay. Giselle raising in the chat. Giselle. Oh, thanks, Giselle. Janet Carolina Rivera. Okay. Uh, Jose Lino Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thanks. Karen Elizabeth Bernal. Present teacher. Thanks. Karen Yvette Villanueva. María Santos López López. Thanks, María Santos. Marlene Elizabeth del Valle. Okay. Bye. Bye. Michelle Beatriz Díaz. Thanks, Neftali Antonio Mejia. Present teacher. Thanks. Oscar Alexander Santana. Teacher. Oh, yes. In the chat, in the chat, <clears throat> say present three classmates. Yeah, I'm checking Maria Santos and Michelle, right? And let me see, so Maria. And Giselle. Okay. Thanks, Jenny. Neftali Antonio Mejia Miranda. Present teacher. Oscar Alexander Santana. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla. Present teacher. Thanks. Sara Elisa Belloso Hernández. Present. Thanks. And Selma Yamilet Peña. Present. Thanks. Wendy Cecilia Molina. Present. Jenny Carolina Ardon. Present. Okay. Thanks a lot, guys, for being today. Um, thanks, Karen Villanueva. Got it. Okay. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, see you tomorrow. Uh, we have our last class, so please um don't miss the class. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye bye. Have a great night. Bye bye. Bye bye, teacher. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night.